Before we get into form logins, we need to talk about HTTP headers. These are basically information before your document that is passed back and forth between the server and the browser. Um, this is a typical header. Um, it's telling where it's coming from, where it's going to, what browser type, and, and so on. And also this is where we pass the cookie from the server to the browser and back. Okay, when submitting a form using the get method, uh, the variable value pair is embedded in the URL. When sending to post, it's a different matter. Um, it's recognized as post, but the variable value pair is at the bottom of the header. Um, the length of the value pair is denoted here and it's separated by a, a carriage return and then the value pair is down toward the bottom. Uh, we won't be using this method because it's a little tricky. Our Arduino ESP server looks for a line break to end um, processing the header. Um, you could write your own code, but for now I'm going to use the get method, which is easier, basically. If you don't want to have your user password appear in the URL field, you could use uh, XML to pass the value back and forth. Okay, um, this is an this is my example here. I'll post it on uh, GitHub. I'll provide the link in the description below. I'll be using the Wemos Mini. It's an ESP uh, 8266 module with a um, SD card reader module on top of it. I like using um, HTML files instead of writing the HTML in the code itself. It's just neater. And you can include f actual files like image files and JavaScript files and so on. Uh, let's go ahead and launch the serial monitor to see what's going on. Okay, my browser. So we'll log into our server IP. And here's our login form. So as you can see, here are the HTTP header. Just requesting um, our form. Okay, I'll log in. And we're through. So what happened is when I logged in with the user password and it is correct within the code and it sends back, redirects back to a page called entry with a cookie, session ID. <coughs> this ID is unique when I log in. It's, it's in the program permanently until I shut off or log off or turn off um, or quit the browser. Okay. So I'm in and when I log out, I basically wipe out the session ID and redirects back to the form. Okay. So in the code, if I try to access any page without logging in, it denies action and redirects back to the form. As you can see in the entry here, when I logged out, I basically set the session ID to one and it's trying, the browser is still saving this value. The ID doesn't match, so it knows that I haven't logged in yet. So the server code is standard. Uh, you could find it anywhere. Powerhouse 
is this library I wrote called web parser basically strips out the variable value pair let's go straight to the code so whenever I log in I send a keyword called login through the get method and it knows to to find for username the values of username and password so then it uses that to compare to the username and password in the code which I've defined up here site login and if it's equal then it sets the cookie information and the cookie information is just a millis in milliseconds, it's a cheap way to create a, a unique ID. Okay. And then after it does that, it uh, redirects. Uh, it does a 302 redirect to the file entry.htm. Okay. Otherwise, it redirects to the form. And also, if it finds a keyword logout in the header, it sets the session variable to 1 in the code. So basically wiping out that uh, milliseconds. So that's the gist of it.